Hello and welcome to another episode of the New Level Nerds. My name is Steve, and today we are playing Glitch Space. This is a game from uh, Space Budgie that was released in May 6th of 2016, so it is a year old, but it came up on sale on Steam. Uh, I saw that it had Oculus support, and uh, I wanted to give it a go. As you can see here, it's very trony. Everything's digital. It really touches my nerd nerve, basically, and it really, really gets me there. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the core gameplay. So we have this very blue and white world, but every once in a while there is a red object, and we can right click on that and here we go, this is our programming area. So each item will have, well at this point in time, it has an action, and then you associate a direction and a value to it. And if you've ever done programming, you know, it's, it's very similar except just in a very simple visual style. So this one we can't actually change, as you can see it's locked. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to cross over it, uh, uh, just with good timing. And I am so glad I've gotten rid of my uh, motion sickness from playing with the rift. There we go. Very nice little touch there. Okay, so we're in this first room here that we are going to have a bit of a challenge. At this point in time, I can create my own red blocks. So I'll just drop that one down right there. And let's get into some of this programming. So I look down at it and I give it a click and it gives me this window. I can assign an abstraction. Specifically, I wanna move this object so I can get up. Then I'm going to add a direction, which is going to be the Y axis. I'll just connect that up there. So now I've associated the two. And now I'm going to need a value. So I think five should be good. And immediately it works. Wonderful. So now I can move on. And a lot of the game is like that. So we moved over here and obviously a bottomless pit of doom, which hey, life is short. Whee! <laughs> Always get a kick of jumping off things in VR. All right, so that, let's see here. So it is getting a value uh, or it's, it's getting a command to rotate the object. It doesn't look like it's doing it though. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know why it's not moving. Uh, can I can I manipulate this? Yes, I can. I think I want to give it a new vector. I haven't actually done this one before. And using my little compass over here, I pointed with my finger. Obviously, you can see that. Uh, I want to move it closer towards me. So can we cut that? No, we can't. We can't cut that. Can I can I connect? No. Okay. But I can. Oh, there we go. All right. Too easy. So I just had to delete that one little bit. I'm not gonna be able to make that jump though. Let's let's get a little bit of assistance from my personal. There we go. Whee! All right. Maybe one more here because as much fun as falling is, uh, it also makes me more sick. Ah! And now we've completed that part. Save point. Look at that. It's like a, oh my goodness, it's like a planet. Oh, <laughs> I love this game. So these are data streams and I don't want to touch that or else I'll be taken away into the rest of the internet and mixed up with the cat videos and fail channels and things. So I'm just gonna place something in the way. There we go. Now I can pass through safely, untouched by the terrible things that happen on the internet. And down we go. Now here's another problem. I I can only create these flat bars here. Actually, let's let's create another one a little higher up. There we go. So, right clicking there, I have a feeling I will be able to rotate the object now. Wonderful. Lovely, so let's go to vector. So I want to rotate it along the uh, the X axis because I want it to go upright flat. So those are connected and I want it to do that 90 degrees. Okay, wonderful. 
I don't think that's quite right though, is it? I mean, I'm not really passing underneath. <laughs> I didn't think this through. All right, let's give myself a better, a better uh, location. There we go. Now I can pass through safely. What? Oh, oh, I got hit a little too early. Okay, I see your game now. Let's try that again. All right, hopefully that'll work. Hopefully that'll work. Yay! So, if you've ever done programming, the logic is very similar, except the execution is completely different. So much of programming is knowing how to write the code cleanly and to not make mistakes and to know, you know, be able to see the, the logic in text instead of having these helpful graphics. I mean, I did C++ back in high school. Uh, so that is the extent of my programming, other than HTML, which is, in my opinion, barely programming at all. Alright, so this guy, once again. Uh, now I've actually got a bit of a problem here, don't I? Uh, because I can't just use that to flip up. I've got to make my own. And you know what? It doesn't have to be that high up. Let's put it about there. Wonderful. And it's already given me... Ooh, nope. I've rotated it along the wrong axis. All right, so let's delete that. I need to rotate it along the, ooh, the Z axis. So the axis actually stays in the entire world. It's relative to the entire world, not just you. All right, and now, oops, I need to move the object in a Z direction about uh, 90. Whoa, what the heck? A cuboid went out of <laughs> as, as long as I get there, I don't care. Sometimes the cuboid you need might be a little tricky to get to. And now, just have to remember, Place my cube, and I want to move it. At the same time, I want to rotate it. Rotate along the z-axis, a total of 90, and then move it along the x-axis, a total of 20. Perfect. And come down here, we're going to move the object on the y-axis again, and a total of, I think, 20. But before I actually activate that, yay! There we go. All right, what do we have here? We have two, can I move this? No. <gasps> Oh, it applies a force, and I'm willing to bet that force is forward. So, let's go ahead and tell this what to do. So, it has already set up that it is applying a force of its own, and I can't seem to edit that part. That's all solid. But I can move this. Uh, well, I don't want to move it along the x-axis. I want to move it along the z-axis. I think it was trying to trick me there. And I want to rotate, or not move it. <gasps> I've got to move it? Seriously? Oh my goodness. Uh, I want to rotate it. Can I rotate it? Will it let me? Yes. All right. Ooh, we're getting really complicated now. I want to rotate it along the z-axis. Yep. And I want to rotate it 90 degrees. Wait, what? That was the z-axis. That should have made it life flat. Okay. Well, let's try... Let's try the y-axis. Nope. Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> I didn't actually set up... What? No, okay, let's try the last one. X-axis. 
And go! Yay! Exact. That can't be right. Oh well. Anyways, we have to move the object just a little to its left, which is of course the Z axis. And I want to move it about 10. Wait, is that enough? No. Let's try 20. Whoops. 20. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Here we go. Boing, boing. Hooray. Perfect. Well, I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, this is this game's a lot of fun. It makes you think. It is Oculus compatible, but uh, I don't recommend it for people who are new to the Oculus. Uh, it made by Space Buddy back in May 2016, and uh, yeah, if this is your kind of thing, I recommend it. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, tell us how we're doing. Other than that. You've been watching the nerds. My name is Steve, and we'll see you next time.